One of the most remarkable things about Unix is the ability to redirect the input that the command receives or the output that is produced by a command. This is the topic of this unit. As always, remember to try out on your own the examples we are examining. Great innovation of Unix is the ability to redirect the output of any command to a file. Using the echo command, I output the first verse of Rudyard Kipling's If poem. If you can keep your head when all about you. Note the twist here. I added greater than if one at the end of echo and nothing appeared at the output. However, this greater than sign redirected the output of echo into a file named if1. To list the contents of this file, we use the cat command. Cat stands for concatenate. It concatenates the input files into its output. There is also a way to append material to a file. After echoing the second verse, are losing theirs and blaming it on you, I use a double greater than sign followed by the file name if1 and if1 now contains both the first and the second verse. I can verify that again using the cat command. Let's now create a second file with the next two verses of the if poem following the same procedure. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, is redirected to a file named if2 and finally but make allowance for their doubting too is appended to the end of the same file using again the double greater than sign. If I concatenate if2, we see the verses it contains. Next, I can combine the two files, if1 and if2, into a single output through the cat command. I can also redirect the output of cat itself. Actually, any output of any command can be redirected. In this way, I concatenate if1 and if2, redirecting the output to a file named if. Then, I cut if without redirection to get the complete first stanza on the screen. Some commands may fail with an error. You run a command and an error appears. You wouldn't want the error to be redirected to a file because this would make the error disappear into the redirected output file and you may not find out until it's too late. Unix solved this problem by having all commands sending their error messages on a special channel called the standard error. Let's first create a file for later use. If I list another file named xyzzy that doesn't already exist here and redirect the output of ls into a file named output, we notice that the error message ls cannot access xyzzy isn't redirected to the output file. Instead, it appears on the screen. On the other hand, if the output file didn't previously exist, it now does but is empty. To redirect the error of the ls command, we need to add number 2 before the greater than sign in order to redirect the channel number 2, which represents the standard error output. Now, the error message of ls is redirected to the file named output. If I cut output, we see that it actually contains the error message. I can also redirect both the standard output and the standard error. To do that, I list the two files, a file and xyzzy, sending the output of the first to the previous output file and then the output of the second to a file named error, so that the standard error goes to file error. Now, if I cut output, I get the listing of a file and if I cut error, I get the error message. What do you do when a command produces far more output than what can fit on the screen? The less command, which we also saw as part of the manual command, allows us to view a file page by page. As an example, typing less in the location of the system's word dictionary, which is user share dict words, shows us the first page of words and then pauses, allowing us to type space to see the next page, Q to quit, and many other commands to explore different parts of the file. For instance, 
we can type slash in order to search for a pattern within this file or B to scroll backwards. As you might expect, it's also possible to redirect the command's input to come from a file. PC stands for Basic Calculator and is an arbitrary precision calculator. By typing BC, we enter the command mode of the calculator. For example, entering 40 plus 2 returns the result 42. To specify a decimal precision for the results, we set the scale variable to a desired number of digits. In this way, by setting scale equal to 60 and asking for the square root of 2, we get the square root of 2 with a precision of 60 digits. As another example, let's try to automate an operation by saving it into a file. Our task is to calculate how much rice can fit in on a chessboard by placing one grain of rice onto the first square, two grains of rice to the second square, four grains of rice to the next one, eight grains, 16, 32, and so on to the following squares. In other words, this is the operation of 2 raised to the power of 64 minus 1, which I save into a file named chessrice. Now, if I run BC followed by less than chessrice, in order for BC to take its standard input from the file, we get the total grains of rice that can fit on a chessboard. As a final example, recall the verses of the if poem that we saved in a file named if. By running the cut command with the minus n option, which numbers the lines of its input, and specifying as input the file named if, the verses of the if poem are displayed in numbered lines. This concludes our Foundations unit on input and output redirection. Stay with us.